What's up guys, this is the Rothman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, we've actually got a few couple of different things to do today. Uh, we've, well, we do have a major problem, not problem, a interesting feature over here in India. Where there's multiple stacks of Maratha troops are pushing up. Um, and then, which we've been doing some, a lot of fighting around with recently. Um, but that's not my key concern uh, just at the moment. Uh, popping over to the Americas, we do have a Spanish incursion, incursion on Santo Domingo, which I think will probably be what we fix first. Then back over here in the British Isles, we do have another stack of British rebels, because hopefully we should be getting towards the time where London should be uh, starting to dial down the rebellion side. Obviously they do have high clamp for reform, but that's not the end of the world. Hmm, it might be a strategic decision to get going on quick climb shells. Let's get half on to quick climb shells because we're now going to be because because we are fighting in India. Um, and then Cambridge, you were on secular humanism, but instead go for classical economics. Lots of wealth there. And um, what it might do is. Uh, when we finally pacified Britain, I might send an army over against the Swedes to try and see if I can make a temporary peace by taking Copenhagen. And then I'd also probably like to begin operations against the Spanish if they are going, if they are deciding to take the route of attacking my possessions in the uh, Caribbean. Um, so my plan is to take my holding force army here. Forward! Engage them, well, transport them aboard ship. I can sail these fellas around to port pay Actually, if I just sell them just outside port pay this sloop can take position in Trinidad. My army can disembark. And then they still got their full movement points where they can go chase down this army, and it's probably going to be an auto-resolve, because it's not a very significant army. We've lost a lot of men, um, but we do have we have the capital and we have the time here in the Caribbean to spend just replenishing. You guys just move a bit more into the centre, they will raid this port and that's fine. But what I would like to do, you are a stack of, you're actually not a bad navy. Um, but we are building our proper navy up here. So this is our new... I mean, that's a lot of first rates. Probably too many. Let's move you three out. Ch Charles, Charles Louis Bonaparte. Let's just get you back into port. What I would like to do Ships is orders. take... These seconds and thirds. I think I can get four in there. There we go. It's got a bit more of a balance. And let's sell them around to go knock out this Spanish stack because they do have a couple of ships that would be worth taking. We've got a first and a second, which I would like to take. And then once this navy is repaired, we would then attack and capture, or attack and destroy the um, attack and destroy the uh, Marathon fleet. First up front, then our seconds, then our thirds, then our fourths. Okay, so in keeping with tradition with the naval battles, I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when uh, the action starts. So see you in a second, everyone. There we go. And we are about to start firing shells. And the main problem is that they've got their lighter ships up front, so the fourth rate's raced ahead. So the main ships you want to capture are Felchen, which is back here. Felchen, Felchen, I don't want <laughs> felt in too often. Um, she's a third rate ship of the line that she is damaged. She's down a lot of guns. She's not very strong. But it's um, San Damaso back there is the heavy first rate. That's the one we want to take. 
So we've got a heavy first to opening the action. And this does indicate that the Spanish Navy is, or well, the Spain is running out of cash because they're sending small armies with damaged ships to attempt to try and uh, make gains against our territory. So then, St. Lawrence, first reach of the line, is about to engage. Marshall broadside, firing as she bears. Isis, <laughs> Isis, Isis, my heavy first rate, is uh, sailing into position against Sangedian to get a good shot against her, st against her stern. Yeah. Round shot can di can dismast ships. As we can see. Yeah. The main goal is to get Ooh, fought the front sticky out part's been destroyed. There you go. But as my formation then turns around, I'll get some good hits. And I might just speed this up, actually, because right now it's just a lot of gunfire against one poor 4 3 ship of the line. Poor soul. Getting hammered. She's not. She's still, like, surprisingly chipper, considering the damage she's taken. Uh, the third-rate ship of the line is now in a position to engage. And morale is going down rapidly on the fourth-rate. So back there, they've got a carronade frigate, a carronade frigate, and a rocket ship, which... Rocket ships are can be quite dangerous. Let's check and see how the, what are the guns like on that side. There's a bit of damage. Yeah, the fourth rate's gonna sink. Yeah, there she goes. She's taking so much damage. Yeah, this third rate ship line there doesn't really stand much of a chance. She's in the crossfire of far too many ships with no support. She's sailing boldly straight into our formation. Don't worry, she believes she is winning. Ah, now she thinks she's losing. She's on fire. Her sails are being torn ragged by our broadsides. She does not really stand much of a chance. She's wavering. Now she's steady again. Carronade frigates have changed direction. The rocket ship is engaged. Hit Glory, who is now on fire. And my leading ship in the formation is on fire as well. But my, the rest of my formation needs to make full sail. These ships, my faster ships towards the rear, they can try and go in this direction to threaten the rocket ship. So rocket ships can cause ships to blow up. The Carronade Frigate is going to give San Pedro y San Pablo a opportunity to do some damage. view. St. Lawrence is ready and willing to engage. So need to keep an eye on both these ships, see when they stop being on fire. missing an opportunity to get some good hits onto uh, the first straight ship of the line. Oh no, 
glory's been dismastered. She's not been able to fight the fire. Very selectively turn fire at well on. Only when they're ready, but yeah, glory is up against it. So right now it's a case of watching the sh watching as the watching as the guns are uh, ready. They're all still on fire though. Four ships of my formation are all afire. Okay. Both these fellas ready to fire. Chain shot. Can you fire round shot? Because you gotta. You gotta fire. This ship is now not on fire. My flanking ship is in position. My flanking ships are in position. You are now no longer on fire, so fire your broadside of canister shot, chain shot, sorry. To her masts. There we go, I was gonna say. Like you didn't need to don't need to fire broadsides. Foremast is gone. There you go, the rocket ship has been taken down a peg. So all my ships still on fire. Karen Age Frigate's got no hull strength at all. Let's get you firing at will with chain shot with your starboard battery. Try and knock out the last sail. Get these fellas into more appropriate firing positions. Both the ships are still on fire. Devastating broadside right. Should be the end of that carronade frigate. Okay, so both of you guys can turn firewall off. Because we've got this ship that's currently not on fire to engage. Should be able to do damage with your starboard battery. There we go, we've got some fourth rates firing from the rear. Isis is no longer on fire. You still are. Let's speed up time, because this is going to be a bit of a foregone conclusion now. San Damaso just doesn't really have anywhere to go. Are you still on fire? You are... Oh, you're not even firing at will. Decisive victory. Good. That's what matters. So let's take, I might even take the rocket ship in really. So those three ships make port in San Juan. You guys sail into Martinique for repairs.
Good stuff. Okay. How's your population doing? 126,000. Okay. So you're capable of recruiting more men to join the fight. The fight. <laughs> the fight overseas. Okay, let's upgrade these mills. You need to stay where you are, really. Well, most of these armies do, really. Um, and let's go wipe out. Oh, is auto is on that. Triumphant. Lord? I've got a feeling we're going to do more fighting in India imminently. Um, so I think I'd rather prioritise that. But you guys can rep repair. There we go. And England should no longer be rebelling. I mean, Theodore can't leave the city. Your orders, Your Majesty. Ready for orders. But it's tempting to take this army of here, Edinburgh, over towards Copenhagen. So let's see if we can scout with a fifth rate. Port is undefended. British Navy in the Baltic. Copenhagen has no defences. There is a Swedish Navy there, which will prevent me from crossing over, but that's okay. By the looks of it, they're fairly weak. Sit in the port. Actually, you might just come back. So I'm pretty sure this garrison can leave Edinburgh. It can indeed. Can you... You can't get there. Let's take this fifth rate out. Swap it with this fifth rate. Embark the army. Sail you guys over to Husum. Disembark the army. March on to Copenhagen. Because there is a Swedish army waiting. Okay, you head north. In fact, I may even take one of these fifth rates, sell them into Newcastle. You guys can occupy Glasgow. Just to prevent any thoughts they might have about sneaking around and invading us. This navy's up to full strength, which is nice. Your store replenishing. So India. Okay, keep upgrading. Oh damn it, I accidentally. Right, okay. Take all my ships. ships but are fifth rate. You guys get into Colombo. Or aboard Mordaunt. Don't worry, you guys will get repaired. I just need to uh, disembark more men. More men to form the garrison. So what do you need? Chiefly infantry. Infantry and artillery, really. So get you guys stuck inside the city. Recruiting a bunch more infantry, but what we start what we want to start rolling Take out ready. is more heavy howitzers. Push you Forward. up to go intercept Forward. that army. Again, just get a quick auto resolve because we've already fought them, really. Your humble servant. Yeah, let's yes. bring you guys back to Forward. the city. March. Well, preferably this side of the bank. Because Forward. I want them to get within range of the city the primarily. Make ready. I mean, it's a lot of men. And this will be quite a lengthy engagement, but I don't want to fight these guys on the field, personally. But you guys, just churn out infantry. See, Lon, yes, get you guys back inside. Don't worry about guns. You guys need troops. Smash out some troops. Let's bring this fifth rate back to Colombo get you guys into Bengal for repairs good 
everything else I think is tip top. I mean, to be honest, I could also be recruiting another army here in Mexico. Guard to core. Actually, let's get one guard to core and then two colonial light cavalry. Yeah, start to recruit another army in New Spain, considering they've got massive repro uh, massive uh, production capability. Let's upgrade some more of our ports. I said I want you to wait. Let's do a bit of it. Oh, I've done most of my infrastructure. So over here is all good. Bengal's all good. So you're ready to defend. And we've got a lot of troops here yes, available. Sir. Might even pull you back a bit. For crown and country. Still command this pass. But yeah, look, they've got troops pouring in. Which is why Quicklime should have been much higher up on my list of priorities than it was. But I do want you to push on Copenhagen, try and broker a peace. I want you guys... Well, to be honest, we can actually start to just export Hooray! armies now. For crown and country. Sir. You guys are bored, inflexible, and definitely do not forget to do... Do not forget to actually uh, use them properly. Uh, this That's army great. here, you can sit in Bristol for now. Keep an agent in London. Good. Okay. Research and tech is good. I don't think there's anything immediate that needs doing. Sir. Let's hit end turn. And let's see where the hammer falls. I mean, it's going to be Bengal. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Now, but I might chop the recording before it gets to the Austrian end turn. So, see you in a second, everyone, because that's a real pain. Although, yeah, they did a really good job <laughs> at chewing through that Austrian end turn, which is nice. Okay, so it's the Mughals, as they... Oh, God, that's even more... Even more men. Okay, the ships are... Clustering. Hmm. The longer they prevaricate, the more time we can spend to get our forces into the area and land in Arcot to help uh, create a new front. Okay, right. Some guys are going to push down the east bank. Shouldn't have moved those guys out of position. Now they're fairly useless where they are. You're going to raid our trade lines. Trade lanes, that's okay. Okay, good. So you've recruited some good men. I'll start to recruit infantry. Upgrade the Iron Master's works. Upgrade the Engineer School. You're now onto the infantry recruitment side. Good. Fleet arrives. Didier. So you can land into Pondicherry and hit our cot. Any orders? All hands make ready. Disembark the army. March them to our cot and let's demand their surrender. They refused, so we will take the city by storm. Very much critical because being swarmed. It is getting it's getting busy. So we really need to get those uh new fronts against India opened up and Because right now we are in quite a delicate position where they can actually uh, destroy our forces in Calcutta or near Calcutta. Okay, so going through the front. Pretty sure it's the militia, and you guys are going in, backed up with my heavy cavalry. 
then my other infantry. Again, get ready to storm. Good stuff. Generals back here. You know, Marines, now you can come in the front as well. Okay, get our guns to just engage. Stupid sound bugs. So our carcass shot howitzers are engaging the walls and taking out some men. Um, but chiefly, we need ways in. If I can get multiple ways in, I can bring my cavalry to bear. Because the 9th Horse Guards, the Guard Corp, they are quite good cavalry in terms of their stats. To be honest, because there's no sound, I may as well just speed up the time, really. Yeah, these Indian walls, they fall, they fall quite well compared to European walls. So we've lost some... Our howitzer gunners have taken a bit of a hit. Oh, if you could knock, knock that down while they were climbing up here, that'd be great. Ah, mercenaries, what are you doing pushing forward? But our gunners are going to blow a hole in that section of the wall, and then aim at this section of the wall. Howitzers begin to aim at the two fangy. To be honest, the problem isn't actually capability driven because most of these troops are lower qu lower quality. They've got some dervishes back here, um, but that's not exactly a, a problem. Oh, we did have a stupid sound. I've tried a few different things to try and fix it, but for whatever reason, it just decides to not work when it needs to. Yeah, just keep... There we go. Nope, still no sound. Is that it? Yeah, that's another way in. And let's knock another in for good measure while these guys run up while these guys run up our cavalry hunker down on the flank but they are going to pour in as well carcass shot focus on the actual infantry we've got facing us yeah the mortars are going now you guys need to fan out if you want to take lots of casualties You go straight for the gatehouse. You guys get up one side, you guys get up the other. We've got to send some of them to climb over the gatehouse in the likely event that they just sit here charging. They just sit here um, charging through the gatehouse at us. And that's the reason why I want. That's the reason why I want uh, multiple axis of attack, so that one good can one good carcass shot doesn't uh, knock us all for six. Run some mercenaries up into that breach. Run some mercenaries up into this breach. Their job will be to hold. Let's get the Coeur de Bois up onto the gate, up onto the wall itself. You guys run, fire it all off. So the mercenaries, these guys, I want them to tag these guys to allow my cavalry to run in. They can't stop us everywhere. So you guys charge the two fangy. Get our heavy cavalry in. Trouble is, right now they haven't, they've got to make a choice about where they focus. There we go, the swarm of armed populace have got in. So, you guys. Yeah, like my. But the mercenaries will do a good job at killing their men. Keep, 
killing. There you go. As you get up onto the walls, you can charge out. The gatehouse is ours, so you can push through. Come on, bring in the guard. Stop our artillery, our field artillery, from firing. Come on, I want to get one unit through to start to hit these gunners. That's where you guys can charge them. You guys run down. You guys run down. You guys can run in. You guys run down. Because the mortars are not good. The guard de corps are gonna they're gonna slaughter these guys. Because they're only armed populace. Can you charge into them as well? Get the marines to hit the flank of this attack. No, cavalry come back here. We need to leave the mercenaries here for now. I'd like to charge them. Yeah, you guys want me to take out the mortars because the mortars are hella good. You guys run in. No. So you've got to really be careful. Kill the mortar crews. You guys get involved into this combat in the centre. Coureur de Bois. Get into the armoury. You guys take him out. You guys take out the garrison mortars, I guess, if that's what you want to do. But yeah, look, see how my cavalry just kind of runs away back to where they're fighting against these not-so-good units. The levy. These musketmen are going down hard. Not as capable as my colonial infantry. The marines are doing what they can. Okay, let's send one unit to go and set those guys near the gate. Let's be honest, let's send two of them. Actually, one unit stay on position. Stay in position. That's when you guys hit. No. You want to fight them, but you're going to charge these guys. Hit them in the rear. There you go. Our mercenaries have gone, but they've been great at holding up their infantry. You fight the garrison musketmen. Keep engaging them. My infantry's got their infantry surrounded. Fire well off, actually. She sent both my cavalry out of the levee just to hold them off. It's only going to be 20 seconds, though, until they are done, and then the city is ours. Mercen unit. It's wavering at the gates, but again, that's okay. Ah, you guys, these guys are going to fight my uh, skirmishes. Let's send in my infantry to help them out. This should help thin them out somewhat. There we go, the battle is over. And let's take me for a capture for a capture in the southern on the southern uh, shores. There is a stack right there. It's going to be heading our way. So you guys replenish. Prepare the military governor's barracks. What have they got down here? Do they have any government buildings? There's a stack in Mysore. A couple of stacks nearby with a great gun. You need to get converting. 
So they are converting, some are converting to Islam. Uh, let's take two bags of prosperous steam powered cotton mill, but I want to demolish it. Same as last time. Can't really afford to pass up the opportunity to transport any infantry across the uh, across the strait. The address is a steam dry dock. Bring you guys nearby. Bring the ship back into Colombo. Just keep building. Just keep recruiting. We can't afford. We can't afford to uh, let. Oh, they've already been deployed. That's these guys. Okay. Yeah, you probably won't be able. Oh, you can make it. But you're weak. You won't make it for long before you get intercepted. But if I drop you guys over here, then you over like this, at the very least, you are protected. If they want to engage, it becomes a... There we go. So they'll be intercepted by Mathis first if they want to push south. At the ready. I mean, you're quickly becoming your own army. So right now you are okay, getting rid of getting artillery. Good, let's get some horse guard artillery. And 24 pounder guard artillery. Good stuff. Okay, let's send a cavalry scout here. So there is a stack in the city. And there's a small army there. So I think you are actually in a good place to do something like... I want to attack them from this direction, but if they intercept me, that's okay. <laughs> Trying to man the surrender. Let's maintain siege. So I have somewhat weakened the immediate garrison of the city, but I think it's probably for the greater good. But it does put some... It spreads out the pressure, which is what we really need to do against the Marathas, because you, as you can see, they, they've got a lot of men pretty much everywhere, and if we let them have one place to deploy or to focus their forces, then uh, then it will not be good for us. Catholicism is growing, but the same rate as Islam, because they've got this priest over here. Which is unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Yeah, we do at least have this army in for support if they do get attacked, which is excellent. Um, what I probably might do is uh, attack here at Katak, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for more uh, damage done to the Marathas. Cheers, everyone.